everybody this is your boy bookie here and today i'm gonna be y'all have been asking me for like a straight year now bro bro i like your intros but i really want you to tell me how to add text to them intros you know what i'm saying and that's what i'm doing here today all right so look 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 i got y'all so check it right so first just get one of my intros you feel me i already got it open down in the tab below you know i'm using sony vegas by the way what you're gonna need is the sapphire plugins and vegas that's it you know you know don't be don't don't be you know that guy who's like well you gotta have a computer and electricity don't do that don't don't do that but um and also if like um this recording like it's black or like starts flashing black or it cuts out at certain parts i'm sorry i have a really trash computer that's why i didn't want to do this and like the record i'm using obs right now and i'm trying to make it look good and like not be trash this is like my fifth time recording this but i'm trying okay all right so we just gotta pick an intro i'm gonna um pick 25 that i did a long 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 time ago and just gonna drag it into vegas okay i'm using vegas pro 14 but it'll work for any vegas with the sapphire plugins link to the sapphire plugins down below and you're just gonna drag it down in your timeline now um click no right there and I am going to go right click properties maintain aspect ratio reduce interlace flicker and disable resample you know what I'm saying and then you're gonna click OK now that we got that out the way uh, I want you to zoom in using your mouse wheel um if you don't have a mouse wheel I'm so sorry <laughs> but anyway um wait right here we're gonna mark these beats off right here so as you can see like right here like where it gets kind of like thick and squiggly right here that's, that's your um beats right there okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna like click right in front of it and we're gonna um press the m key right by n you know what i'm saying n m well, let me stop being retarded but all right um m key place your marker and i'm just gonna speed this up because i'm just gonna do it to all the well i mean i'm not gonna do this whole intro but just for time's sake i'm gonna do it to right there just for time's sake so now um now that we got all the beats marked off all we gotta do is go to media generator scroll all the way down until you get to that good sweet crisp legacy text i like to use soft shadow myself but you can use any of the transparent ones right here um i'm gonna go ahead and use soft shadow and just drag it above the intro this is important make sure that it's above and make sure that the text is transparent so it'll look like this so bam you got text but um we we're not simpletons around here we don't do the least we do the most um so that means we're gonna get rid of this we're gonna change the name say goku has a youtube channel and this font is absolutely atrocious so what that means is that we're gonna have to use a custom font or any font that you like you can go to thefont.com get any font that you want me personally i'm a fan of the blacklisted font and then we're gonna go ahead and up that to 120 yeah that's perfect all right and now if you want to change the color and stuff go over to properties bam click any one of these right here change it easy it's quick and easy bro and we're gonna go with pink because why not pink is one of my favorite colors all right effects now uh, i like to add an outline you know what i'm saying and the outline is going to be uh, pink and black let's do pink and black and then we're gonna make the outline thick boy thick boy all right yeah that's that, that's thick enough we can, can't have enough we ain't trying to get blocked you know what i'm saying um let's see that's okay so now we just got regular plain straight text it's not moving it's not doing anything but that's not impressive we wanted to move we wanted to do stuff so that's where the sapphire plugins come in now you can do this with um event pan and crop but it's not very good i mean just gonna tell you that right now it's not very good at all so we're gonna stick to the sapphire because you know i'm trying to get y'all the best this is a very simple tutorial by the way uh i'm in media generators uh go to video effects sorry about that mm -hmm. There we go. S blur mode curves. You're gonna need this. This is the only thing from the Sapphire pack that we're gonna be using today. If this tutorial goes well, I may be doing more, but I'm not promising anything. Um, and we're just gonna drag this straight onto the text. So, um, there we go. It's loading up. I'm sorry if the screen goes black. My computer's trash when it comes to recording me editing stuff. So you're gonna wrap your X and Y and put reflect right here. Okay, reflect, reflect, wrap X and Y, reflect. Remember that. You're gonna need to know this. Now we're gonna animate our Z distance. 
and make sure that you have this right here ticked sync cruiser to media timeline that's important so that way when you click down here it moves this as well so that you know just a little pro tip all right so we're gonna i'm just gonna move this out the way so i can see my marker okay so i'm gonna click right on my marker and you want the effect to happen right in the middle of the marker now what do i mean by this so right here i have my keyframe buttons and if you're using a different um updated version of vegas these may not be here but i assure you that there's going to be three lines that are like somewhere around here and you can easily get them to pop up if you just look in there so we're gonna go um three frames in to the right three frames to the i mean yeah three three th oh my god i don't know i left from my right three frames to the left so one two three okay now i'm gonna drag this back up and then we're gonna place a blank keyframe right there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one two three frames to the right and we're gonna use this sliding bar because like i could put a number in right here but i like um using the bar because that way it's not exact every time and it adds a little bit of variety to whatever you're doing so um we're just gonna do a simple pump so we're gonna drag it to the left boom like that now we're gonna go to the right three more times one two three and we're gonna go and put this back on one bam all right, we already have one pump going in. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna speed this up doing the rest of these markers. So uh, I'll be back when I finish that. All right, guys. So I added all the markers to that. I mean, I added all the um little beats to that, and I'm just gonna add a fade right here. So I'm gonna trim the end of the text. But you know, you're gonna do the whole thing if you want to. It's up to you. I just did this for the sake of this tutorial, keeping this trying to keep it short. And I'm just gonna add a fade right here and a little fade right there. So now, um, this is what you should have got. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I'm sorry if like um, the screen kept going black or something like that. Uh, I can't control it. My computer's not really good for um, recording myself edit in Vegas and stuff like that. I'm sorry. I don't have a really good PC at all. I have a laptop that I've been using for about six years. So I'm um, again. I apologize, but a lot of people have been asking me, and I just wanted to you know help them out. By the way. I'm gonna give you a little sneak preview, not a preview, but you know, next intro is on Kimitsu no Yaba, and um, I got this nice little picture right here to show you guys, you know what I'm saying?